What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you my Iron Banner loot results for the current event. Now I have covered what I received on my Hunter already and if you guys missed that and do want to check the video out you will find it linked in the video description. Today I bring you what I received on my Titan and Warlock. But before we go any further, if you guys enjoyed the video, dropping a like is very much appreciated. If we could hit 4,000 likes, that would be absolutely epic. Okay, so let's get into it. So after my initial rank 5 achievement on my Hunter, the next day I played on my Titan and I hit a rank 5 so damn quick, it was crazy. Literally 5 or 6 games. Now the end of game loot I received within the 5 or 6 games on my Titan were as follows. I received two shotguns and an auto rifle. None had great rolls to be honest, so let's check out my bounty rewards. Okay, so from the Iron Light bounty which drops armor, I received the Iron Saga plate, dropping at a 385 defense, offering intellect and strength, with also extra shotgun or auto rifle ammo. From the Iron Support Bounty, I received the Iron Saga Greaves, dropping at a massive 387 defense, which is amazing, offering intellect and discipline, and increased ammunition for shotguns. From the Iron Marathon Bounty, which drops weapons, I received the Lingering Song, which is the hand cannon, dropping at a 386 attack, with hammer forged or brace frame, snapshot or high caliber rounds, and third eye or mulligan. Not bad to be honest, so from the Iron Arsenal bounty I received the hand cannon again. This time though it dropped at a 387 attack. Perks of interest were rifled barrel, lightweight and hidden hand. And let me tell you guys, I am loving this thing for PvP. It dominates for sure and I will have a video coming on it very soon so stay tuned. Okay so let's move on to the Iron Banner rank 3 and rank 5 loot. I received the Bretomart's Pledge artifact, dropping at a 386 defense and I also got the Iron Saga Helm dropping at a 385 defense offering discipline and strength okay so from the rank 5 package I received the clever dragon Porsche rifle this one dropping at a 386 attack perks were send it or brace frame quick draw or cast it mag and range finder or feeding frenzy not a bad roll to be honest, I did have one drop on my Hunter which is a beast. This Pulse Rifle in my opinion is above all Pulse Rifles for PvP. I made a video on this thing which if you missed and you want to check it out you will find it linked in the video description. Do check it out if you haven't seen this thing in action and watch it shred. Ok so let's move on to my Warlock. And from the end of game rewards, I received 6 items in total. 2 pairs of gauntlets, one dropping at a 385 defense and the other dropping at a 386 defense. I received a 384 attack shotgun and I received the unbent tree dropping at a 385 attack. And although it had counterbalance, other perks sucked. I also got the iron banner ship as well, but I won't begin to try and pronounce this thing's name as you'd probably hear me choke. So let's move on to my bounty loot and from the Iron Light bounty I received the Iron Saga steps dropping at a 386 defense offering discipline and strength. I also got the Iron Banner Sparrow which looks amazing. From the Iron Support bounty I received the damn Iron Saga steps again but this time they dropped a massive 387 defense. Okay, so from the Iron Marathon Bounty, I received the Silver Dread Heavy Machine Gun, dropping at a 386 attack with a great roll, with small ball or reinforced barrel, quick draw or snapshot, and counterbalance or life support. From my Iron Arsenal Bounty, I received the Distant Star Scout Rifle, a weapon I was actually hoping for. It dropped off in 386 attack, and its perks were pretty good too. We got Injection Mode or Small Bore, Lightweight or Extended Mag, and Icarus or Rangefinder. This thing truly is the baby meter multi tool, and I expect a video on it pretty soon. Ok so let's move on to the rank loot I received. From my rank 3 I received the Iron Zaga Vestments dropping at a 386 defense offering intellect and strength. And from my rank 5 package I received the Titanium Orchard dropping at a 386 attack offering solar burn. Not a bad roll either, we got fitted stock or javelin, snapshot or speed reload and grenades and horseshoes or tripod. So this thing's definitely a keeper. I can whack on that tripod, pick up that heavy ammo then switch to grenades and horseshoes. It's a winner both ways. 
And there we have it guys, that was my Iron Banner loot for the current event. If you guys have hit a rank 5 on one or all characters, tell me down below in that comment section what was the best thing you guys got and that role on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, turn on them notifications so you do not miss a video and I will catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, you never get it right, left in the dark.